Hey, welcome to BusTechHub.com. I'm Romel Vargas, and in this segment, we'll be doing a front oil change seal on a Cummins ISLG. This also applies to the LGAS Plus and the ISL diesel version. We'll be covering the removal of the seal and the proper installation of the seal to prevent any damage and, and uh, causing any leaks. But first, we'll show you what the seal looks like. So here we go. Okay, so this is the seal from Cummins. Uh, it's part number 4024883. And here's what we got inside. This is a complete kit. Um, this comes with the whole flange and seal and actually nuts here. So this one here is the complete kit. And if you notice, it has this plastic sleeve here. This plastic sleeve is not for shipping, which a lot of mechanics think it is. This is actually an install sleeve, so do not remove it. If you also notice about this seal, it does not have a spring on here. It's just the seal, the rubber pretty much, that's it. So install it as is. If you get the kit without the flange, just the seal, install the seal, do not remove the plastic piece. Okay, so this is your complete kit uh, with the nuts, everything there. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the engine and remove the seal and install this new seal here. All right, so here we go. Okay, this is the Cummins ISL. We have all our accessories removed, all our crank, every crank pulley removed, and we're ready to remove the seal. So we're gonna remove our five nuts here and go ahead and remove the seal. Now, Cummins gives you a pry point here to remove the seal. You don't want to come in here with a screwdriver or something and damage the cover here. So here at the bottom, they give you a section where you can actually pry on it. So we can stick a heel bar or a screwdriver in here. And now we're going to go ahead and pry on it. And you can see it makes it a lot easier. Then you come with like a spatula and work it off. So the, the removal is pretty easy. And this is it pretty much right here. So what you have here is the uh, dust shield, which you want to replace, uh, reuse it if it's in good shape, if not, just replace it. And this is your actual seal. So that is the uh, seal removal. I'm going to do some cleanup here. We're going to come back and we're going to go ahead and reinstall our seal. Okay, we're back to the seal install here. So I cleaned up the flange already. I applied silicone to each stud here, sealer, uh, per Cummins instructions on install. And I also put a sealer per Cummins install, how they want it around the flange on the inside of the holes here. Now, this is the piece you do not want to remove. This is your install sleeve here. So this is gonna help you install the seal without damaging the seal here inside, okay? So leave it on there. Uh, we're getting ready now to install it. So now there is no real clocking. You basically slide it onto the crankshaft, line it up to the holes, and you're just gonna push in. And once you push in, you remove the sleeve and it's ready installed right there, so it's ready to go. So this is the one you don't wanna remove. This is to help you install the seal without damaging it. So now we're gonna go ahead and install our uh, nuts here and we're gonna snug them down. And the uh, torque specs will be in the block page there. So you can look up the specs there and uh, go ahead and torque them there. So we're going to install these nuts here and we're just going to snug them down for now. Okay, so here we go. Okay seals installed we just need to torque these nuts here now we need to install our dust shield here so again inspect it to make sure that it's not damaged or anything I put some o-ring lube on it because it's kind of a snug fit so here we go you just push on it and that's basically it you're ready to go once you torque down the nuts here you install all your crankshaft your drives and you're ready to go and this is the basic install for a Cummins ISLG for an L gas plus for a regular ISL diesel, so it's the same procedure right here. And uh, check out the webpage uh, blog, and we have more info on the install there. Well, thanks for watching here from BusTechHub.com. Uh, thanks.